Hi beautiful souls, welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Kamiana and this is the Intuitive Soul Tribe. Here we talk about all things manifesting. So, law of attraction, mental health, and law of assumption. So if those are your vibes, welcome. If you guys have not gotten the Manifest Everything journal, the link is in the description. If you're wondering what journal this is, it is a powerful, magical journal that you want in your hands, trust me. In this journal, you will notice that there's powerful techniques. There's also techniques that I use personally that have helped me literally every single day when it comes to manifesting. Plus there's powerful affirmations in here that will help you manifest within a day's time so if this is something you want to embody then definitely go grab it it is the link is in the description you can get yours today i do have tiktok links to amazon links and my actual website so yeah grab this bad boy you'll love it also if you guys need any coaching i do have that you can basically manifest faster with me so i do have manifest with the ease coaching sessions below you can book your time and we can get you going on manifesting your boo and your money okay okay now we're gonna get into this guys today we're gonna be talking about self-esteem and self-concept and how to embody that all right it's very vital and most people want to do it because when you go on youtube and you ask yourself like how do i manifest my sp or how do i manifest a, a, a luxurious lifestyle how do i manifest a new car it all starts with your inner feelings it starts with your self-concept it starts with your idea of self and that is why a lot of people are looking up these videos on how to embody that because some people really struggle with that and that's okay it just means that you may have been raised in a certain situation or relationship or family where um you know there may have not been a lot of encouragement on who you are as a person but that's okay you now can embody this person you want to be by simply just realizing who you are and that is how you start bringing in better self-esteem and better self-concept so make sure you guys watch all the way to the end so you don't miss out on anything I give you in this video. Now, self-concept for me, guys, is simply just loving myself, being easy with myself, um, being understanding. When I'm having really hard days, I allow myself to have those hard days. It's hard and it took me a while to do that because I have been known my whole life as a workaholic. So what that means is someone who just literally will work to the sun up to the sun down. Somebody who either A, really loves what they do or they're a bit of a perfectionist like me and they got to have it right and so that's not always a good thing people think like oh you're a perfectionist that's great you're probably gonna make sure the job's done right and yeah sometimes that's a problem because we're willing to sacrifice our needs to get the job done and so you may be like that too but even if you weren't it doesn't matter self-esteem and self-concept is simply just your relationship with you and if you want to start feeding the relationship with you here are some things that you can do that will help one of the big things that i like to do is read yeah, believe it or not, there's a lot of self-development books out there. But if you're not a reader, don't click off. It's okay. We're not done yet. <laughs> if you're not a reader, there are audibles. Um, basically, where someone reads the story to you, if you prefer that. If you're like, hey, I don't like that either, then that's fine. There are podcasts out there that talk about like self-development or law of attraction, law of assumption, manifesting, things like that. Um, if none of those are your thing, you're not into listening to anything, that's cool. You can start doing things like scripting or journaling if you're a bit of a writer. If you're not any of those things, then definitely listen to music that encourages you, music that helps you and boosts your energy, not just so you could be happy. Like I'm not overly happy right now. I'm happy, but I'm not over here like jumping on a trampoline, like, oh my God, guys, come jump with me. Like, no, but I am in a good place, right? Right now and that comes from being calm and receptive and open and receptive and if you want to be open and receptive to calmness then you got to be willing to give it to yourself and so there are little things that you can do on your phone if you're often in your phone like I am or you have work on your phone or whatever like is keeping you on your phone a big thing you can start doing is like get um, these apps there's different kind of apps and they have different stories I love the episode stories you can call me a little kid if you want to I know I'm 27 years old and I use the episode I actually like it if you guys know know what that is look it up in the app store especially if you have an iphone and uh type in episodes and you'll see that it's this app where you basically can read these different stories by different writers about things like love romance i like originally started with romance so i stuck with romance but those weren't the only topics like those aren't the only genres i think there's like supernatural stuff and all that i also like webtoons but i'm also an anime babe so i'm into anime i'm into mangas i'm into all of that so i love to have my personal time and really like go read a good webtoon or read a, a, a episode and get the like i like the idea of like getting a character together the way i want it to be and the way i want her to look and all that so i'm like i'm such a kid at heart but anyway 
point of the matter is you can do things like that that are really just feeding the relationship with you. And the reason I started off with the books is because I have a lot of books that I've read over time about law of attraction, law of assumption, and you should check them out. There's Eckhart Tolle, there's The Power of Now, there's Abraham Hicks, there's so many good like things out there. Abraham, um, I love Abraham Hicks. I love the Neville Goddard uh, books. I also like the um, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon. Man, there's just so much good stuff out there. And I kid you not, you'll start feeling better internally because when you're reading, you're not really, that's not about any other people unless you're reading it out loud to someone. But when you're internally reading, it's really you feeding you. It's you giving yourself information that you're enjoying. And so whatever's your thing, do it. And if it's not any of what I mentioned, if you're more of a gamer like I am and you like to play video games, play video games that make you feel good. Not video games that stress you out and make you want to punch your computer. Now, don't get me wrong. As gamers, it is good sometimes to have hard games things that really challenge you make you want to like keep trying until you get it right that's great but here's the kicker i'm a gamer and so is my husband and so because my husband's a gamer i noticed a lot that he had a bad i don't know if people call it bad but like i would say it's a, a trauma bond relationship with his gamer buddies where it's like okay sometimes things are all good they're ready they're hyped they're about to jump on the game we're about to have them a blast and the next thing you know it's drama and people are cussing each other out and talking about people's home life and i'm like this is so toxic and it's like and i tell him that i'm like a game is supposed to be a release. <laughs> a game is supposed to make you feel good about yourself. When you're going into environments that are supposed to be fun, supposed to be exciting, supposed to be uplifting, the least thing you want going on is drama and gossip and angry things that make you mad at each other and now you don't enjoy the game. And Who wants that? Who wants to be frustrated? No. So I realized he had a lot of trauma bonds and I told him, I said, you need to find games that are going to really help you, your spirit. They're going to make you feel good, that you jump on with your buddies and you guys have fun and you enjoy it. Whether you lose, whether you win, those are the vibes. And if you can't find the game for that, at least try to find the people. Because sometimes you can't get an old gamer head to go get on new games. It's not, it's not hard. I mean, it's not as easy as people would think. But if you can't get him to change the game, at least get him to change the people he's playing with. And that will really go a long way. And it will for you as well if you're a gamer. Me, I like a lot of nerdy games. So I, I, I will play Minecraft. I'll also play Elder Scrolls Online, Dungeons and Dragons style. Yes, yes, I'm a, I'm a nerd, guys. Uh, <laughs> I like um, Sims, of course. I have a whole channel about how to install mods for Sims. So people know me more so about that. That's where Simplicity Sim comes from in the first place. Uh, so there's that. And then, of course, there's Genshin Impact, which I haven't played in a long time. And I'm looking at my desktop right now and I don't see it. I wonder if I deleted the game at some point for some reason. I have to reinstall that. But anyway, that was one I loved a lot. So I'm 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 a big gamer. I like I like the game. State of Decay is fun. Destiny is fun. I'm about to play GTA today, so you know, wish me luck, guys. But the point of the matter is, at the end of the day, there's outlets that you can use in the outside world that will help your self-esteem, help your self-concept, and make you feel good about yourself, make you feel uplifted, make you feel like you belong here, darling. And if you can't figure that out and you just like I listed a whole bunch of things and you're just like still like Kim, I'm not into any of those things, then really really start focusing on having a different inner dialogue so for me i started off with scripting i didn't really have to walk around saying i'm beautiful every day but for someone else that may need to happen for you and inner dialogue or what people say i call them inner dialogue but other people call it robotic affirming it really is whatever the heck you want to call it but the point of the matter is you start having better conversations with yourself internally so when you make mistakes don't say you're dumb don't say you're stupid don't say why did you do that don't say you're a dumb bitch don't say shit like that stop saying that say girl it's okay you made a mistake but hey people make mistakes we're gonna keep it pushing be easy on yourself because a lot of people are not like that they're so mean to themselves and they wonder why the world is mean to them stop being mean to yourself and then the world won't be mean to you it's that simple stop being mean to yourself and the world won't be mean to you because when you realize who you are and you realize the gift that you give this world you will really fully start to appreciate yourself more and so when you are around people who don't appreciate you you will notice that and that that trigger that 
button will get turned on to let you know this is not the person for you. If this person's triggering you, if this person's making you feel less of a person, that's not your person. <laughs> it's just not. If it's confusing you, if it's making you feel less than, if it's making you wonder if this person matters, then it doesn't matter. Things that are supposed to be in our life will not come with stress, will not come with confusion, and will not come with doubt and fear. You have to make the decision right now, right here, as you're watching this video. What am I allowing in my circle? What am I going to keep? And what am I not going to keep? Who am I going to be around? Who am I not going to be around? What am I going to say to myself? What am I not going to say to myself? When I started actually analyzing my thoughts, I started to realize how badly I, I, I don't like to worry, I don't like to use the word badly, but you know, I, I noticed the negative habits. I say sometimes and things I would do and the things I would complain about and the things I would worry about and the things that like all I did was like bring more worry and more confusion and more things to be worried and stressed about. You don't want to do that. Okay. You really want to start trying to change the language, the language you have with your, your spouse, your friends and the language you have with yourself. So when I started saying things like, you know, when I was about to say, oh, you know, here we are having to worry about bills and things like that. When I was starting to talk about it, I was like, no, don't say that. Don't say that. I'm abundant. Money is abundance. When I spend money, I'm abundant. When I get money, I'm abundant. I'm abundant in any form of the matter that involves money. I started like realizing how I was communicating about things in my life that I didn't like. And I started changing how I talked about things, which then, talk, which then changed how I felt about things, which then changed my self-concept and my belief system. Okay, guys. So if you've it this far welcome you're now an intuitive soul gym so welcome to the intuitive soul tribe and go ahead and hit that like and sub and do not forget to hit the gray bell so you could be notified when my videos post if you have not got the manifest everything journal check this bad boy out it is very powerful you will love it the link is in the description below and if you guys need any coaching from me you can check out my manifest with these sessions that is on my simplicitysim.com website you can book your time with me and we can get you manifesting your boot much faster or money or wealth or prosperity or whatever you're struggling with okay and if you guys have not join the vip soul jimmy lights group what are you doing what are you waiting on there's a lot of coaching material in there and i'm sure you'll love it we have 12 part series so you'll have access to all of that we also have part of all of you'll have access to all our member only content and my content before it publicly posts so yeah go ahead and join we would love to see you in our vip soul jimmy light group seeing you so much love so much light as i always tell you guys go get your moolah and go get your boo bye